welcome to my channel today we're going to be talking about synthesis of acute resin and in this video i'll be covering degree of polymerization and um, the extent of reaction for the synthesis of acute resin so in our previous video we've been able to learn that um, the synthesis of an acute resin has to do with um, actually getting to put into consideration the drop in acid value as the, uh, as, as the reaction progresses from zero you know at intervals that you've chosen so but for this video we will be making an interval of 0 30 60 90. if you've not watched um, my previous video you can go refer to that so that you get to have prior knowledge before this one so but i'm going to be explaining to you the degree of polymerization of an accuracy how to get that and also the extent of reaction how to calculate that okay and we're going to be comparing it with the theoretical knowledge of degree of polymerization and applying the formula also to actually see if the polymerization is the number of repeating units or the number of monomer that are incorporated in the polymer chain. So the number of repeating units in the polymer or your acute resin is the degree of polymerization. So it's just all about the number of structural units present in the polymer backbone that is the polymer chain. So and it's expressed as degree of polymerization is equal to um, 1 over 1 minus P now you might ask this is the formula so if you don't know how we derive this formula I can do a video on that but not now so what is P? P is uh, the number of functional groups the number of functional groups converted so P is telling you the extent at which the functional groups have been convert converted so you can just say number of functional groups converted or fraction of functional groups that has been converted resulting in the polymer or in the alkidresin so and one minus p is the number of unconverted functional groups or the number of um, functional groups that has not been converted into the polymer chain so number of unconverted functional groups So that is 1 minus p. So I'm basically letting you guys know that this is the formula for degree of polymerization and this is how it is expressed theoretically. So we're going to be applying this in the synthesis of an acid resin in order to calculate the degree of polymerization. But before that, like I said earlier, if you've not watched my previous video, definitely you might just have a little problem getting to understand this. For the synthesis of an acid resin, will be in, um, employing this formula synthesis of a kid resin has to do with dropping acid value so the degree of polymerization is totally dependent with respect to the dropping acid value so it's going to be acid value at time zero divided by acid value at time t this is going to be the formula we're going to be using okay then we're also going to compare if these formulas are the same okay now, the next thing we are going to do, uh, get to calculate in this video, or uh, get to learn in this video, is to know how to calculate the extent of conversion. The extent of conversion. Now, the extent of conversion is just the number of functional groups that have been converted in the process, the rate at which they have been converted in the process. So, and there is another formula for extent of conversion. Let me write extent of conversion, EC. In respect to the acid value again for the acid resin synthesis, it is given as acid value at time zero minus acid value at time T divided by acid value at time zero. So these are what we'll be looking into today for the acid resin synthesis in respect to the drop in acid value and we know that the drop in acid value to about level of 10 okay tells us a reasonable amount of conversion in order for you to understand this let's say we've carry, carried out the synthesis like we did i explained theoretically in my previous video let's say we've carried it out and we had these results got this data from our synthesis at time zero um at time zero 30 minutes interval 30 let's say 60 90 uh, let's say 120 then the acid values at these times we had let's say 50 we had um 40 um 30 
20 and 10. As you can see, the drop in asset value, okay? At time, as the time increases, the asset value has to drop. See, the time, um, once it gets to 10 or then about less than 10, you are expected to halt the reaction, okay? So what we have here is just um, an example of what um, your synthesis should uh, be like, you know, when you are getting your data. So the next thing we want to find out is how do we get the or calculate the degree of polymerization and how are we also going to get the effect of conversion and the degree of polymerization so we have two formulas that is dp degree of polymerization is one over one minus p where p is the extent of conversion okay now we don't even know the degree of polymerization and we are going to calculate the degree of polymerization with respect to the acid value so at time zero, we don't expect any polymerization to have taken place. So it's going to be a dash. So, but at time 30, at time 30, degree of polymerization will be initial acid value divided by acid value at time T. So initial acid value is 50, at time T is at 30, is 40. So we're going to have 50 divided by 40 so that will give us 1.25 as the degree of polymerization so I'm going to be having 1.25 here so at time 60 at time 60 the same formula 50 divided by at time 60 is 30 so that will be giving us 1.67 so I have 1.67 here. Now at time 90, C90, was the initial, we still have 50, which is constant, divided by, um, where is it, um, at time 90, that is 20. That's 50 divided by 20. So that will be giving us 2.50. So I have 2.50. So then get about again at time 120, we're going to be having 50 divided by um, 10, which is at 120, which is going to be giving us 5.00. So we'll have the degree of polymerization as 5.00. So these values for degree of polymerization is telling you the number of repeating structural units in the polymer chain. This is at time is increasing. It is increasing okay the degree of polymerization is highest at the last stage of the reaction with that being said how do we now calculate p all right we want to know the extent of reaction okay now it's you can actually get to make p the subject here and just get p as the extent of reaction but remember at the onset there is no um, reaction rate so we have to zero there so now to calculate based on the acid value, like I said, so how we're going to get the extent of conversion or reaction? The extent of conversion, that's equivalent as P, is equal to acid value at time zero minus acid value at time T divided by acid value at time zero. So at time 30, we're going to be having acid value at time zero, which is 50 minus at time C, which is 30, 40 divided by initial acid value, 50. So we're going to be having 50 minus 40, 10 over 50, which will be equal to 0 0.2. We can have 0 0.2 here. So this is at 30. At time 90, the extent of conversion will be equal to 50 minus, oh, 50 minus 20, of course, divided by 50. So we're going to be having 0 0.6, 30 over 50 is 0 0.6. I'm going to have 0 0.6. Okay, then at the last time, we're going to be having 50 minus 10. By 50. So this is going to be given as 0 0.8. I'm going to have 0 0.8 here. Now, as you can see, 
With respect to the acid value drop, as the degree of polymerization increases, the extent of conversion also increases definitely. So the extent of conversion is related to the functional growth that has been taking place in um, that has been taking part in the um, synthesis, that is the polycondensation process or the synthesis of an acid resin. So now how do we compare to see that our um, our analogy is correct? So what we're going to do is refer this degree of polymerization to the formula we already know for the degree of polymerization which is degree of polymerization is 1 over 1 minus p so how do we confirm that this formula is valid theoretically so let's get to calculate let's try to find this value and see if we'll be able to get this value with respect to this formula remember i told you this formula is the same with acid value at time 0 divided by acid value at time t for the acid resin synthesis so how do we confirm that this formula is valid so degree of polymerization let's try to get this value is equal to 1 over 1 minus p what is p that is 0 0.2 0 0.2 so half 1 over 0.8 so 1 divided by 0 0.8 is going to be giving 1.25 so as you can see our formula is valid for the alkyl resin synthesis definitely with respect to the acid value in order to find the degree of polymerization and the extent of conversion that the functional group has taken place in the um, synthesis so we can see we can actually verify this so when you get to carry on 1 minus 0 0.4, which will give you 0 0.6. 1 divided by 0 0.6 will give you this value, just like that. So with that, this is how you get to calculate the degree of polymerization and the extent of conversion. So if you want to express it percentage-wise, so we can express these values for the extent of conversion, 100%, uh, P%, let's say P%, you're expressing it in percentage, so this is dash 0 0.2 times 100 this is 30 percent conversion this is 40 percent conversion this is 60 and that is 80 which is reasonable enough for the formation of your alkyl resin